Hey there, it's Shen from HTC Vive again to tell you about our next software update for Vive XR Elite, Photo 6.6. One of the biggest parts of this update is initial support for Vive Ultimate Tracker, including setting up, managing trackers, and some basic tutorials. But I won't dive too deep into that in this video. We'll have a few separate videos to talk about our new self-tracking trackers, various features, setup, and some top tips. This update brings more quality of life features to XR Elite. First off, by request within our community, we've added additional device settings into the quick menu, the simple menu which pops up when you click the Vive button. This will now allow you to easily edit controller pairings and toggle hand tracking without having to dive into the headset settings each time. With the Vive Ultimate Tracker, it will now show device statuses there too. Secondly, you will now see your two most recently used apps or games within the quick menu. If you're someone who generally cycles through the same few titles, this will make it even easier to hop around. Another new feature inside the quick menu, we've also added a new casting option. Previously, you could cast to your phone or a mirror cast display. We've now added the ability to cast to a web browser. Just go to the prompted web URL on a device within your local network, and you'll be able to see what's inside the headset. And casting, screen recordings, and screenshots will now be more centered, rather than being veered off to one side from the point of view of one eye. Lastly, we've recently released a beta for Vive Desk, our spatial computing application. You're able to get up to three virtual desktops from your PC to a mixed reality environment, with low latency mouse interactions that can extend into the interface of the headset and automatic privacy mode for your physical display, so no one can snoop on what you're doing. The beta is currently only available for Windows devices. Head over to our blog link in the description to learn more and get started. You should now see Photo 6.6 available in the software update section of your headset settings. We've listed out more details about the update on our release notes page, where you can also find information on our previous updates. As always, we'd love to get feedback on Photo 6.6. A few of the features in this update come from suggestions within our community, so we want to hear what else you'd like to see in the future. You can find myself and CT from our engineering team on our official Discord server. Feel free to drop in and chat with us. Catch you in the next one.